Well, since I'm going to Cletus and Cars in Bristol, might as well do the swag thing. Get me some Cletus. Hell yeah, brother, sunglasses. Boy, check these out. Ooh, boy. Fun factory. Absolutely. Might as well go to the event with uh, some Cletus merch. All right. Yeah, brother. Quick disclaimer. This is not a paid product placement for any of Cletus McFarland's uh, merch. Well, all right. Ready to go to the airport for Cletus and Cars. Bristol 1000, baby. I think my Uber driver's here. Airport, sir. All right. Sir, if you get me there quickly, I'll give you a five-star rating. All right. Uh, my uh, throttle's not working. Really? Oh. Uh, yeah, nothing. Well, that sucks. Now I'm trying to get to the Cletus and Cars, Bristol 1000. I need to get to the airport, but I do have a little bit of time. Now this Uber driver doesn't know that I am an up and, ri up and rising YouTuber and I'm a career mechanic. So let me see if I can make a deal with him that if I fix his vehicle, uh, I get my ride for free. Maybe even get tipped, let's see. Well, I'll tell you what, man. How about I fix your truck and I get the ride for free to the airport? How about that? Hell yeah, brother. He must have went to Gas Diesel Garage and actually seen that I'm where I'm going. But uh, hell yeah, brother. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Let's get it. All right. How to fix this Ford Excursion without taking it to the dealer. probably wondering why I'm only going 25 maybe 30 miles an hour all the way home from uh, Williamsburg Virginia to Newport News Virginia well that's because I am in limp mode and I'm not going anywhere so uh, today we're gonna diagnose and repair a good old Ford Diesel Super Duty 6.0 I might add so if you guys got a Ford Excursion Ford Super Duty and yeah um, we're going to go take care of this today so stay tuned No throttle, no problem. Now before I get into it, when I was driving it and how it's gone into limp mode and uh, won't go anywhere as soon as you press the throttle. And yes, this thing has the electric throttle. So uh, let's just go back to a few days ago and uh, show you exactly what this thing was doing. All right, well, it doesn't look good, but see right there? Throttle uh, pedal position sensor switch, D circuit low. That's probably why it is stalling out when you press the gas. So uh, we might need to get one of those. Well, unfortunately, this Ford Excursion has the adjustable pedal uh, travel. And uh, yes, that's more expensive. 
and you go to the dealer, I'm sure they're going to charge you probably about eight, nine hundred dollars just for the pedal assembly. But the only place that I found that it was cheaper uh, and at a fairly decent price was rockauto.com. This thing was about four hundred dollars, which I think is completely ridiculous, and it's a Ford, but whatever. Got the whole pedal assembly right there, brand new. I gotta take time out for something. Give me a second. For all the execs at rockauto.com, you need to hook your boy up with a sponsorship. I mean, I've only been using you guys for years. See, I got proof. All those magnets, those magnet stickers. Although they are pretty cool and they are very decorative, hook your boy up with a sponsor. I think it'd be a good relationship. There we go. Now it's just time to replace it. If you guys are a little bit curious on how the adjustable pedal is, Obviously, uh, this actually slides in and out through a screw type mechanism Which goes down there and you can actually look at the bottom of the shaft I don't know if, can, if I got a good picture of it, but anyways This mechanism turns kind of like a speedo cable does. That's what This thing is you see that right there and then it goes up into a box that actually is electronically controlled by your adjustable button there so uh let's just go ahead and put this thing back on in and take it for a test drive okay. all right plug your plug back in all right press your red safety lock down and, uh, okay push this back down make sure it goes back in the keyhole there might have to screw with it just a little bit. Okay, all right. Actually, before I put the cable back in, I want to show you exactly how this thing works. See that? It's controlled by this box up here. I don't know if you can see it. There it goes, right there. There's a box that sits right on top of the column. And when you press the button, this thing is going to spin. And it's going to turn that shaft to move the pedal in and out. So uh, let's go ahead, press the button. Watch how it spins. See it? And it also moves the brake pedal, watch. One thing I forgot to mention, we gotta time these pedals. Cause if they move in unison, one's gonna be down and one's gonna be up and it's gonna be all screwed up. So make sure you guys move this thing all, see how that's all the way up? I need to make this all the way up too so they can move in unison. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that looks good. All right, now we can continue on.
Of course, it'll start raining on me, but hey, we got the pedal in. We're going to go for the first test drive. Come on with me. Look at the new pedal. Ain't that pretty? Ooh, that sounded pretty good. Hasn't fired up like that in a long time. Let's track the throttle a little bit there. Sounds pretty good to me. One thing that I've noticed guys is that when you do one of these electronic throttles, you gotta drive it because the computer needs to relearn its uh, shift points and all that good stuff. So uh, don't be alarmed if it starts running like crap first put it in you know you just gotta let it you know put it put it through its paces so uh we're gonna keep on going and uh see what we got here All right so far so good Well, that's going to be a wrap for this episode of Gas Diesel Garage. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. And leave a comment if you like. Peace. Now with this YouTube... Oh. <laughs> now with this Uber don't... Uber.